Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Katie and welcome to Circle Time. Let's get started. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, Wally. Good morning, Willow. Good morning, Warner. Circle time is here. Good morning, Wahida. Good morning, Warren. Good morning, Willa. Circle time is here. Good morning, Wyatt. Good morning, Wanda. Good morning, Winston. Circle time is here. Good morning, Waverly. Good morning, Weston. Good morning, Winona. Circle time is here. Good morning, Wolfgang. Good morning, Winifred. Good morning, Willie. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Yay! Welcome, welcome, everyone. So our ABC Feelings Letter of the Day is the letter W. W is for feeling worried. I'm worried I'll be late for school. Well, what happens when children are worried? Parents, it's our job to keep a safe environment for our children as much as possible. When a child has a um, accident or they get hurt or a mishap something happens we can hold our child and say you are safe i have you and you're here with me and let's breathe together we can put our hand on our heart and our hand on our belly and breathe in and out through our noses to get to a calm state. When children make mistakes, when they have little accidents or when they hurt themselves, the last thing they need is for us to say, I told you so, you shouldn't have done it, you weren't listening to me. Because in that moment, when they're crying or they're, and they're hurting, they need us to comfort them and to help stabilize their brain and to get to a place of calm when people are crying and stressed out and worried and anxious and having um a lot of um being in fear or being scared we're in our lower brain and when we are having stress the stress hormones are released to the brain um, stress hormone um, cortisol is released and it's not optimal for a growing brain. This is the science behind helping our children get to a calm state and they, we can assist that through hugs, through empathy, through breathing exercises, through comfort and to calm our own energy as well. Um, when our children's brains are in a calm state, when we are in a calm state, it is better for our, our brains and it is better for the brains of our children and their brains are growing at a very rapid rate. Hugs and comfort release the love hormone oxytocin to the brain and that helps promote optimal brain development this is why being calm and loving and gentle with our children and giving them lots of hugs and having a calm home 
maybe keep your TV off, maybe have zero screen time in the morning, in the afternoon, and wait till later for screen time. Instead, play music, classical music, soft music, fun music, enjoyable music to dance to, to have fun in your homes. It's something we can do to help create a safe, beautiful space for our children so that they can get a, they can have a brain that is developed at an optimal level. This is not, we cannot spoil our child with love and comfort and calm. The world is a harsh place. We don't need to be harsh. We can be that loving foundation for our children, that safe space for them for their lifetime to help them process and get through this this world, this our culture, our, our communities. Um, that's why love and comfort really belong in the home as a foundation. And then, then my friends, home by home, we, we can create a more safe and peaceful world. It's up to us. Many of us have young men in our families that we do not tend to, that become very angry individuals that want to hurt the world and hurt others because hurt people hurt others. Today, I would like to challenge you to call those people in your, in your family that need comfort, that need um, love, that need attention. Maybe make them lunch. Maybe just talk to them on the phone and let them know that you're thinking of them. The more people that we connect to in our families, the less violence there's gonna be in the world. If you wanna be part of a more peaceful world, you can start today with your children and with the single people in our families that feel unloved and disconnected. Okay, that's a lot to take on. And I'm saying these wor words in a very child-friendly way. I hope that you can read between the lines and see and hear my deeper message, okay? Thank you, friends. Thank you for listening. So now we're going to change gears and talk about a fruit for today. Our fruit for today. Our fruit for today is the pineapple. Have you ever eaten a pineapple? Do you have pineapples available in your area? I've visited Hawaii and I have to say the best pineapples are in Hawaii. They keep them for themselves. The best blueberries, the biggest blueberries are in Oregon and Washington because that's where they're grown. And the best strawberries are in Mexico and in California. We keep our the biggest, best um, strawberries for ourselves as well. So it's nice to visit different places and see what they have to offer in the way of fruit and vegetables. So have you ever, friends, parents, have you ever purchased a, a pineapple in the store? This is much better than canned, okay? So the way it goes, fresh is best, then frozen, and then canned. Because canned fruits and vegetables do have preservatives, okay? But fresh is best. So what you would do, and this can be, Maybe it seems scary to to um, buy a pineapple in the store and cut it yourself. This one is not ready to cut yet. Usually on the bottom, you'll see kind of maybe like a little bit of um, mold or something and more yellow on the bottom. And that's when it's really, really ready to cut up. 
Um, this one's a little is on the green side. Um, I'm thinking today um, I'm having um, a friend over in two or three days and I'm, I'm thinking that this pineapple will be perfect to cut in two or three days. So you would cut the pineapple, you cut it right here first and right here, cut the ends first. And then when you have a flat bottom, you can start cutting all of this off the sides. Um, you know, when you buy canned um, pineapple, it's hollow down the middle because you can't eat the middle part or the outside. Um, oh, and look at this one's got like a little dent right here. Hmm. So, um, yeah, and so you, you eat, so just think about how you've seen it like cut in a circle. That's what you can eat, not the middle, not the core, and not, but you cut off the sides and then you um, can cut off um, parts, but you need to cut out the middle part, the core of this. Give it a try. And the first time I ever cut a pineapple, it didn't look so great, but practice makes perfect. And remember, fresh is best. This is a Chiquita pineapple. And usually it will tell me where it was grown. I think a lot of our pineapples either come from Hawaii or they come from Mexico. También, also. Okay. Now, oh, and pineapples have a lot of vitamin C, a lot of potassium. So be careful because some of us um, diabetics should not have high potassium um, fruits or vegetables because that um, really wears out kidneys. And so be careful. We're, I know doctors really monitor um, potassium levels of um, the potassium levels of diabetic patients. I know that because my dad has diabetes. Okay, so vitamin C, vitamin B6, magnesium, fiber, it's low in calories, it promotes tissue healing, and it fights inflammation. It, uh, pineapples aid in digestion, and pineapples also relieve arthritis. <gasps> Fantastic. I have a little bit of arthritis in my, my right hand, so I'm looking forward to eating this pineapple in a day or two. Okay, friends, so now it's time for us to sing our ABCs. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! You know, a great idea. You could buy ABC cards or ABC chart from a, a teacher store and post it on your wall and point at the letters and sing your ABCs with children and parents can sing ABCs together every day. How about that? Give it a try. Now we're going to sing our, our, um, our colors or say our colors in um, different languages and we'll start with Romanian. Alb, 
Galben, Portocaliu, Maro, Maro, yes, Ros, Roshu, Verde, Alpastru, Violet, Cri, Negru. Yay! And our colors in Cantonese. Repeat after me. Ba, Wang, Wang, Chang, Fei, Fun Hong, Hong, Lo, Oh my goodness. How could I forget? Lam, Chi, Fui, Huck. Yay! And now our colors in Spanish, in Espanol. Repeat after me. Blanco. Amarillo, anaranjado, marón, rosa, rojo, verde, azul, Morado, gris, negro. Yay! And our colors in English. Repeat after me. White, yellow, orange, Brown, pink, red, green, blue, purple, gray, and black. Yay! And that, those are our colors in four different languages. Romanian, Cantonese, Spanish, and English. Okay. Let's see here. How about itsy bitsy spider <clears throat> the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again yay and now we're going to make really big hands for the great big spider. This is Charlotte. And this is Cutie. Here we go. The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the great Big spider went up the spout again. Yay! Oh my goodness. I've got my computer's making noise. My phone is making noise. Oh boy. Did your computer make noise at home? 
does your phone make noise at home? I like to keep mine on silent so that I don't get interrupted, right? <clears throat> I try to put people first as much as possible when I'm visiting with a friend um, or I'm sharing a meal with a friend and family. I try my best not to look at my phone, not to answer calls and not to text during that time. Some people, I have friends that answer the phone while they're with me and it makes me sad. I have friends that do a lot of um, stuff on their phones when we're visiting and it makes me sad because I'm right there in front of them, but they're wanting to connect with someone that's not even there. It happens, right? This is the type, this is our, our communities are like this now, but it's up to us if we want to um, have different values than what the majority have. We can be um, social change agents if we want to be. Okay, so here we go with our horsey song. Here we go. See the horses galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses coming home all tired out. Whee! See the horses galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses galloping, galloping down, galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses coming home all tired out. Whee! So now it's our kitty song. I will see if my kitty cat Hamilton will join us. Hey Hamilton. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Here's Mr. Hamilton. This is my big boy cat. He's a tuxedo cat. Right, Hammy? He's my tuxedo boy. Okay. So you can grab a stuffed animal or your own pet, or you can roll your hand in a little ball. Okay. Warm kitty, soft kitty, little ball of fur. Sleepy kitty, happy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Warm kitty, soft kitty, little ball of fur. Sleepy kitty, happy kitty, purr, purr, purr. We're nice and gentle with our moms, our dads, grandmas, grandpas, caregivers. We're gentle with our cousins, our aunties, our uncles, all of our friends. We're gentle with animals and plants. We're gentle with our belongings and the belongings of others. Does that sound good to you, Hammy? Thank you, Hamilton. Okay. And now I'm probably covered in fur. But that was worth it. A little furry, purry love is worth a little fur. Okay. Now I have these song cards left. <clears throat> Mr. Lobster and Mrs. Crab. Pinch and snap all day, Mr. Lobster and Mrs. Crab. Pinch and snap all day, with a pinch, pinch here and a snap, snap there. Here a pinch, there a snap, everywhere a pinch and snap, Mr. Lobster and Mrs. Crab. Pinch and snap all day, yay! Oh my goodness, I need to turn the fan on, friends. It's getting really hot in my room, oh boy. Thank you for waiting, because you know what? I have a lot of books to read today, 
and I want to be tip top for you. Here we go. <gasps> the clownfish lives in the ocean. The clownfish lives in the ocean. The clownfish lives in the ocean. Their friend is the manatee. The manatee lives in the ocean. The manatee lives in the ocean. The manatee lives in the ocean. His friend is the shark. <gasps> the shark lives in the ocean. The shark lives in the ocean. The shark lives in the ocean. Her friend is the, <gasps> she ate her friend. Sharks are very important though. They keep the ocean populations down a little bit, right? For things that we don't want too much of, but there's an ecosystem in the ocean and in our earth. <sighs> okay. Um, this is the butterfly poem in Hindi. Suba savere ati titli ful ful par jati titli rang maranji pang sujai sab ke man ko bati titli every day the butterfly comes it goes on each flower it has colorful wings. Everyone loves the butterfly. Yay! And now, our Ukrainian poem about the mother crow and her baby chicks. Kra kra vorona. Dityam kashu varela. Tomudala, 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 tomu nedala, politila, ka ka said the crow, making porridge for her chicks. She gave some to this one, 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 this one she gave none, and it flew away. Yay! Oh. And this poem is in Tagalo about, it's a jumping poem. Dumalon, dumalon, dumalon. Sa ibabao, nang buwan. Dumalon buwang umaga, at buwang hapon. Jump, jump, jump. Jump over the moon, jump all the morning, and at noon. Yay! And now, our elephant song in Japanese. So sun, so sun, daare ga suki na no. Ano ne kasanga suki nano yo elephant elephant tell me who do you love oh you know it's my mama that i love oh you know it's my daddy that i love Oh, you know it's my auntie that I love. Oh, you know it's the my uncle that I love. Oh, you know it's my caregivers that I love. Oh, you know it's the children that I love. Yay! And now it's time for Ruru and Lulu to join us because we have the mother hen and her baby chicks. Oh, Ruru, oh, Lulu, where are you? The children are waiting. Come out, come out wherever you are. Come and join our circle time. Oh. 
Good morning, Lulu. Good morning to all the children. Good morning, Ruru. Good morning to all the children. Okay, everyone, are you ready to repeat after Lulu? Here we go. Cluck, 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 cluck. Cara, 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 cara. Boop, 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 boop. Cluck, 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 cluck. Cluck, 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 cluck. Thank you, Lulu. And now it's time for Ruru to crow with for us. Can you repeat after Ruru? Here we go. Cock a doodle doo. Kikiri ki. Ah ah ah. Kokokoro. Kokoroko. Kukuriku. Kokoreka. Eggy egg egg. Los pollitos dicen, los pollitos dicen, pío, 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 pío. Cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío, cuando tienen frío. Los pollitos dicen, los pollitos dicen, pío, 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 pío. Cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen hambre. Cuando tienen frío, cuando tienen frío. Yay! Now, if you have a fruit or vegetable or bird seed, you can show me your hand and feed Ruru and Lulu. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for feeding Lulu and Ruru. And thank you to Ruru and Lulu for joining us and spending a little time with us on our circle time. Okay, Ruru and Lulu, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye everyone. We'll see you next time. Thank you. So now friends, boy, do I have a pack of books to read today, and I hope that you enjoy when I read you books. I enjoy reading books, and I hope that your parents and caregivers read books to you as much as possible to learn, to cuddle, hold your child close, and read a good book. Make time for that every day, and not just at bedtime, every day. Beluga Whales by Elizabeth R. Johnson, baby beluga, oh baby beluga. Have you ever heard that song? That song's by Rafi. Check it out. The white whales. <clears throat> beluga whales are easy to spot in the ocean. They have white skin and big round forehead, a big round forehead called a melon. Like all whales, belugas are mammals. We're mammals too. Belugas are small whales. They are about 15 feet long. Belugas can weigh as much as 3,000 pounds. I guess that's small for a whale. Wow. Up close. Belugas can hear and see well in the water. To swim, they move their flukes. They can swim forward and backward. Pectoral fins help them steer. So the flukes, basically the tail and pectoral fins are like arms. Where do belugas live? Belugas live in the Arctic Ocean. The water there is very cold. Thick layers of blubber keep belugas warm. So belugas, it shows a little map here that they are above Europe and above North America and Canada. Life as a beluga. Belugas use sounds and echoes to find prey. This process is called echolocation. 
Belugas eat octopuses, squid, crabs, snails, and fish. Baby belugas are called calves. They are born gray or brown. Calves turn white when they are six or seven years old. Belugas live for 30 to 35 years. And that's the end of the book, Beluga Whales by Elizabeth R. Johnson. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, this is it, um, by Jan Peck and illustrated by Valeria Petroni. Petron or Petroni? Not sure. So we just read a book that has beautiful pictures of real beluga whales. And now I'm going to read a book that has drawings. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I'm looking for a treasure for my mama and me. I'm so brave, can't scare me. Way down deep in the deep blue sea. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a seahorse racing by me. Hello, seahorse. Giddy up, seahorse. See you later, seahorse swim away way down deep in the deep blue sea i spy a hermit crab hiding from me hello crab peekaboo crab see you later crab swim away way down deep in the deep blue sea i spy a starfish dancing by me Hello, starfish. do -si do starfish. See you later, starfish. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a sea turtle following me. Hello, turtle. Tag along, turtle. See you later, turtle. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy an octopus waving at me. Hello, octopus, give me eight. Octopus, see you later, octopus, swim away. <clears throat> Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a dolphin diving by me. Hello, dolphin. Hitch a ride, dolphin. See you later, dolphin. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a swordfish fencing with me. Hello, swordfish. Touche, swordfish. See you later, swordfish. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a whale spouting by me. Hello, whale. Sing along, whale. See you later, whale. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a treasure gleaming at me. Hello, treasure. Pirate. Pirate treasure take along treasure swim away way down deep in the deep blue sea i spy a shark laughing at me goodbye shark goodbye whale goodbye swordfish goodbye dolphin goodbye octopus goodbye turtle Goodbye, starfish. Goodbye, hermit crab. Goodbye, seahorse. Up, up, up from the deep blue sea, I find mama waiting for me. Hello, mama. Guess what, mama? I found treasure in the deep blue sea. 
Look at their treasure. Wow. And that is the end of Way Down Deep in the Deep Blue Sea. Were we way down deep in the deep, deep blue sea with this book? Only in his, his or her imagination. We were in a bathtub. Look how fun. What a fun book. And now I have two more books left. This book is called Secret Sequels by Stella Blackstone and Claire Beaton, a hide and seek book. I think this book is so beautiful. I bought it at the aquarium. I see a secret seahorse deep down in the sea. I tried to swim beside him. He was too quick for me. Can you find the seahorse in this picture? Here's his little tail right here. He swam past reefs of coral with colors flower bright. Can you find the seahorse? Here he is over here. He swam past the flickering fishes, then disappeared from sight. Is the seahorse around here? Here he is, right here. Do you see his little face? I asked the octopuses where he might have gone. Look around. Do you see the secret seahorse here? Here he is. Here's his tail. They just shrugged and shook their legs. I steadily swam on. Can you find the secret seahorse here? Look, he's right here. I came across a mermaid as she combed her hair. Do you, can you find the secret seahorse in this page? I'm looking too. Oh, there he is. Look, he's right under here with a flower on his face. Yeah, he's a good hider, isn't he? Or she. I found an ancient shipwreck, but couldn't see him there. Oh, it's a boy. Can you find the secret seahorse? Here he is, right here. There's his tail. At last, I found a secret cave. It looks so dark and dim. I stayed outside and shivered. I dared, I did not dare go in. Do you see the secret seahorse anywhere? Oh my goodness. This is hard to find. Look. This, this is the page I always am challenged with. Mm, I can't find him. Can you? I can't find him. Can you? Is this the seahorse right here? I don't know. No. Then, then in the cave, I saw a glint and guess who greeted me? Oh, do you see those little sparkles right there inside the cave over here? Wow, not just one secret seahorse, a whole seahorse family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seahorses. <clears throat> and that's the end of Secret Seahorse by Stella Blackstone and Claire Beaton. Yay!
And we have one more book left, friends, for our circle time for today. The Feel Good Book by Todd Parr. <clears throat> Giving a great big hug feels good and is healthy for your brains and your children's brains. Eating carrots with a bunny feels good. Getting tickled feels good. Sometimes I have a funny voice when I read this book to my grandkids. Let's see, I'll, I'm gonna use my funny voice right now, okay? Taking a bubble bath feels good. Showing the new kid around feels good. Feels good. How about that funny voice? Does you, do your parents read to you with funny voices? I think funny voices are fantastic. Rubbing noses feels good. Visiting a sick friend feels good. <clears throat> Crying when you're sad feels good. Laughing out loud feels good. Brushing your hair with a lion feels good. Catching snowflakes on your tongue feels good. <clears throat> Reading a book under a tree feels good. Watching your grandma and grandpa dance feels good. Having a ladybug land on your hand feels good. Sharing your treats feels good. Waiting for the tooth fairy feels good. Saying I love you in sign language feels good. Playing under the sprinkler feels good. Making a new friend feels good. Making sounds like a monkey feels good. Seeing fireflies outside your window feels good and looks beautiful. Letting a kitten lick your fingers feels good. Meow. Brushing your teeth with strawberry toothpaste feels good. Learning how to count with to eight with a spider feels good. Giving somebody something special feels good. <clears throat> Whispering in someone's ear feels good. Being brave feels good. Taking a nap with a giant stuffed animal feels good. Being together feels good. <clears throat> it feels good to think about all the things that make you feel good. Feel good. Rubbing my dog's tummy makes me feel good. And him too. What things make you feel good? Love, Todd. Hmm. You know what feels good to me? Walking on the beach in the, near the water barefoot. That feels really good. Being outside when there's a cool breeze feels good. Walking barefoot on grass feels good. Okay, friends. Well, guess what? Our circle time is now over. I hope you have a lovely, wonderful day. Make sure to <clears throat> do activities outside, read lots of books, and cut down on your screen time. All right? Thank you so much for sharing your, um, how many minutes have we been on together? Let me see. Well, Thank you so much for sharing these moments with me. Have a great day and I'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.